Hey there, Boots Owen here. I'm down in the cellar with a very loud tumble dryer in the background with this Black & Decker lithium sweeper. It's a model PSA215 perhaps there, made in China. 7.2 volts, which presumably means it's got two 18650 batteries in it. We'll have a look in a second. It should have these brushes spinning all around the outside, but if I turn it on, makes noise and nothing happens. You can have a look from the top and you can see over here seems to be maybe four cells actually, two or four cells, a board and a motor. But in here, the motor certainly is doing something but it's not turning this brush and I think it then runs a chain of brushes all around. It's quite dirty and to clean it you just squeeze these guys on top and the trap door on the bottom falls open and it's Kind of mouldy in there, I would say. So I started having a look at it and thought I should make a video of this. On the bottom it has these little glides, probably nylon or something. They snap in and hide the screws. I thought the screws might be under the label or something, but no, they're in here. So with a screwdriver and brute force, these things just slide up. Pushing the screwdriver in quite hard and then twisting to lever them up. It's four glides. They need a Phillips or a Posi something screwdriver. Let's try this and then I'm hoping that white cover should come off to reveal all of the stuff beneath. Say that tumble dryer is a soothing noise in the background or you might not you tell me in the comments i'm trying to make videos whenever i can and life goes on around me so just let me know i'd be interested to know what you think this i presume has a docking station that i don't have so i just want to, to tinker with it to see what i can see mm, now it has a little kind of fiber brush all around the edge wonder is that the static thing or a don't know what that would be for. Let's try bludgeoning it. There we go. It's caught on something. Oh. It looks like there should be screws here and here and here and here, but there isn't. It might have snaps or something. I don't know. Okay, I have to undo the bottom oh, crap door. Right, it's all come asunder. That's cool. So if I put that in there, the way, I don't know which way is up now. I presume this thing wants to sit in here somehow. Like that, perhaps. Yeah, try that. of a plastic grease on these guys. I might be missing one of these plastic dealies. Am I? Don't know. Let's put that in there. This goes in here, I'm guessing. I think this goes over the top, like that. It wants to jump out. <laughs> so you can see if one piece goes around, it should all go around. So let's hold this plastic thing here down and try it. Okay, so this is spinning, but the brush isn't. Why is that? There's a load of hair in it, maybe? Could it be that simple? It could, it could be, you know. Um, or could it could just be worn out as well. 
So there is a load of hair in there, all tangled up. It's a bit melted. It's a bit gross, really. feeling this might be the same shape of bushing that's on the other end as well so might be hair on all of these actually no that one's okay so it fits in there and fits tight this one wasn't fitting tight but let's see if the thing goes in now it doesn't want to fit it's quite strange A bit of melty plastic there. What's nice about this is that it's somebody else's hair as well, it's not even my own. If I can get this to work, I'm not sure what I'll do with it because I don't really want it. That should fit in there, but it doesn't want to go, which is weird. It looks like there's damage in there. Get the screwdriver in and just give it a bit of a wiggle. Let's change the shape of it now in there. That's fitting now. Put this on. It could be this simple, you know. Put that on. Put that in there. And that over here in get this hair out of here while we're in it. That in like that. This one should snap in here. Like that. That one down there. Over to this side. More hair. And the last one. Yet again. Like this is what they're for. They're there to sweep up hair. And other fluffs. So the fact that there's hair in them getting caught up in that white grease doesn't surprise me. Okay, this one, does it go that way, I think? And this one, like this, I'm gonna put my finger on this and it might jump out. Yeah, I think that's it working again. I think that's it. Okay, without further ado, let's get the top back on and see if it'll sweep up all the crud I've just spilled on my bench. It looks to just have two lithium-ion batteries in there. I suspect it's too low to the ground because it doesn't have the glides on it. So let's get the screws back in. It seems to be blowing the dust forward. I want this stops working. Once the battery stops working on it, wears out. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't even know if I'm going to use it for this. If it was a, like a 14 volt battery it'd be useful more so because there's more 12 volt things but the fact that there's a little charge control board there makes me think bicycle lights but I don't know what else I could use it for. Okay. glides on. Twenty nineteen. It's only three years old and someone's thrown it out already because they couldn't be bothered. I guess that level of a fix is beyond most people's skills. It does ride a little higher. Is 
it any good? I don't know. That's the fix though. I could use a clean. Not sure if I'll do it. Got a bit of dust up my nose now. That was a really easy fix to a brush bar on a Black & Decker Lithium PSA215. That won't spin. That was a really easy fix. What did I need? A screwdriver, two different screwdrivers, and a knife. Oh dear, what is the world coming to? I'm glad we fixed it. What do you think? Questions or comments, or any more questions? Well, questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.